Uh, hello, Rob. Thank you very much for your time. How did you get this research? I have visions of you strapping little cameras to cats all over Cape Town. I'm sure that's not how you did it. <laughs> That's, that's not far from, uh, from the truth, uh, Sally. First of all, um, it's a combination of three studies um, by three students from the Fitzpatrick Institute um, at the uh, University of Cape Town. Um, the first two studies were based on questionnaire studies where we asked cat owners um, to record everything that the cats brought in, and we had little GPS trackers on them uh, at the same time, a subsample of those 105 cats. Uh, we did that in summer and winter because cats do different things in the summer and winter. And um, from that, we found actually quite low predation rates. Um, the cats were bringing in mainly mammals, um, about 50-odd percent mm -hmm. of mammals, um, about 17 percent reptiles, about 15 percent birds, and so on. Um, and then um, those two studies then extrapolated up to the total number of prey caught um, by uh, Cape Town's 300,000 cats, that's our estimate from from door-to-door -door surveys, um, and we got to uh, about 5 million animals that uh, Cape Town's cats were, were bringing in. And then the third study, because the, stu the students said to us, um, hang on, but we don't know if the cats are bringing everything back um, into the house. There could be a big bias here. Um, so then we did, in, in fact, uh, attach uh, little video cams. I don't know if you can... <laughs> See that Sally little video cam? <laughs> That's, can. Um, it's a little 32 gram um, <laughs> uh, device. You can see four little um, uh, infrared <laughs> lights on the front there with the camera in the middle. Um, and we strapped those to the cats. They only last two and a half hours. So we put the, mm. the cat owners through their paces because once this was finished, then we gave them a, a second one uh, and then they downloaded from this one and, and attached right. that one to what the did cats. You, what we did, did you find? The big, the big headline is what? They hunt more than we thought? They only bring in about one in five of every prey that they're, they're capturing. Um, wow. So that means if we thought the predation rate was about five million animals before these little kitty cams came along, we now had to up that estimate. We had, in fact, we had to multiply by uh, 5.6 fold because wow. um, they were only bringing in 18% of what they were capturing. So, so Not the, only that, sadly, but yeah. they, they were bringing in more reptile. Uh, they were bringing in more mammals than they actually were. The, the returns data suggested. So actually, Cape Town's cats are reptile specialists. Right. Um, and and, and we, you know, I mean, I'm just capturing. fascinated by this, Rob, because. We know that, Anna, that, that cats are hunters, but goodness knows why they still have to go and hunt when we feed them. But that's a different subject in time. <laughs> the concern, of course, is that they actually might be hunting uh, endangered species of reptiles. So uh, tell us how much of an issue this is and if there's anything at all you can do to stop the average house cat doing something like this. Well, all of the, the species that we saw them capturing on the video cams that was uh, Francis Walling's study in 2013 and 2014, they were all endemic uh, reptiles for a start, um, mainly the little marble-leafed gecko, which you get on your walls at night. And one of the interesting facts to come out of this is that 92% um, of the captures were made at night. So cat owners are very often unaware that their cats, A, are going out and, and B, are capturing anything. In fact, three of the video cam cats were capturing uh, prey on the video cam, but they never brought anything back to the cat owners. So the cat owners were very surprised. Back to your question, Sally, uh, about the threatened species and the amphibians. Yes, we all know about the western leopard toad here in, um, in the Cape and Cape Town. Um, it's a, an endangered species. It uh, comes out in August with the rains. Um, our cats were indeed uh, catching those. Now, a cat owner will say to you, but they're, they're poisonous. I mean, if a cat was to, mm. um, was to eat this, then it would uh, possibly die. They don't eat them, they just play with them and oh, then they kill them and then so, once they've stopped um, so moving, cool. then they abandon them out, yeah, out in the, in the felt. So we don't know what the impact uh, on the western leopard toad is. Mm. There's Cape rain frogs, which are a near-threatened species, which they're also taking, and of course some of the birds. Uh, no threatened species, but certainly endemic species. And Rob, uh, Orange-breasted sunbirds, sugar birds. Oh, my um, word. So I, mean, I mean, the list is just awful, actually. But Rob, um, in one sentence, is there anything you you can do to stop this or is there anything pe pet owners should be doing? If you give me four sentences, Sally, I will tell you. Um, the, the first sentence is keep your cat in at night because most predation seems to be right. happening at night. 
Um, the second thing is put a bell on your cat. Uh -huh. It will reduce the predation for the birds and the mammals, but not the reptiles, mm -hmm. because the reptiles are not going to hear any bells. Um, a third thing that I just heard, there are at least three homes in Cape Town who have uh, something called catios, which are enclosed patios to allow your cat outside into the garden to do its its thing, <laughs> but doesn't allow it out right. into your neighbor's garden and to kill all the wildlife. Um, and the fourth thing um, that uh, Justin Rian, a professor who was part mm -hmm. of this study as well at UCT, um, suggested is we have cat, not cat free zones, because we know how far they go, yeah. they go up to yeah. 800 meters from their homes, but around the urban edge where they go into Table Mountain National Park, have responsible cat owners who, who have either a catio or have bells and or bells or keep them in at night so that they can appreciate, we can all appreciate <laughs> the biodiversity that comes into our gardens, the the, right. uh, the mongoose, the jackal buzzards overhead and, and the caracals and so on. Rob, that was a lot more than four sentences, um, but I'm a cat lover, um, so I'm going to forgive you. Thank you so much. What an absolutely fascinating study. Rob Simmons, research associate at the University of Cape Town, all about cats hunt so much than you ever believe.